we're on a windy road in the Himalayan foothills. This road is made for one and a quarter cars. I mean, these guys are professionals, but then you notice that there's a burned out hull of a car <laughs> off the side, all the way down to the bottom of the cliff. You think, yeah, it's good till it's not. Arthur Brooks, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor to be here and with all of you. What's this former professor of the French horn up to? I've spent the last 20 years as a professor and head of a think tank in Washington, D.C., working to improve public policy for human welfare. Hold on to your heart there, Arthur. <laughs> the reason I came into the free enterprise movement is because poverty is the thing I care about the most. In Western world, they think slum. It's not a slum, it's a, it's a hub of industries. Since 1970, two billion people around the world have lifted themselves out of extreme poverty. What did that? I, I don't argue that the market's always perfect. What is ever always perfect? Is there something that Denmark can teach America? A lot of people in the United States say, this is the modern Shangri-La. This is an opportunity, and you got to make the most of it. As my granny would say, you rob Peter to pay Paul. I'm a working man and I'm not going back to prison. People across the political spectrum in the wealthiest countries in the world are increasingly turning against the very system that's lifted us out of poverty. 51% of people between 18 and 29 no longer support the system of capitalism. Yo soy anticapitalista a tope, pero vamos descarado. The backbone of the United States is people who believe that progress is possible. Morals always must come before markets. People matter the most. You are showing genuine interest, not only money matter, but a more wider perspective. I really very much appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Your Holiness. Holiness.